I've been hearing a voice in my head lately. Not voices. A voice. It sounded suspiciously like Dr. Francine Bishop. I followed that voice to where Dr. Bishop worked, the Oakview State Psychiatric Hospital. All the other voices in my head, which were all mine, I usually refer to them as thoughts, had told me to stay in Fresno, to find a way to breathe life back into my suffocating marriage, to keep writing grants that would fund the community space I'd helped to create and dedicated 15 years of my life to running. But I followed Dr. Bishop's voice, and that is where the trouble began. This is my story of love and mental illness. It's a story about Dr. Bishop, the brilliant and batty researcher who delved too deeply into the unconscious. It's a story about Frank Walters, the mid-level advertising executive who would stop at nothing to exploit Dr. Bishop's research. It's a story about me, an ordinary guy swept up in things bigger than him, the last guy I would pick to be the hero of a book, or even the anti-hero. And then, of course, there's the woman. Lola Diaz, the second woman I ever loved, re-emerging in the dual diagnosis ward just as I was making my big push to save my marriage. Sometimes I have trouble figuring out what really happened, and that's part of the reason I wrote it all down. The back cover of this book says something about a murder. I'm kind of curious about that myself.